Dominus. Just different things still utilizing the same hitbox for most of them as Archie <laughs> shot. And there's the BDS Slayer. What was this pass from Metzadorus as well? Archie pre-jumped him and Metzadorus sniped him. Perfect height for the absolute banger to the top. Always shot. seems to be able to find an extra way to reinvent himself. Stay relevant to the scene and extra oh. shots. Found it off the top of the uh, goal, but really should have made it that far. Archie was circling the box looking for small boost pads. Metzadorus also out of boost, so neither player able to. A tough read on the back wall there. Archie almost got it. Oh, that's oh, the great read. The relaying wave nails it. Metzadorus there for the follow up. An end point are battering the backboard. Monkey Moon stuck completely flat tire, flat foot on the goal line there as he waited for the ball to come towards him. Did he just touch? Yeah, He'll be around there to play it towards. Archie will take control of the ball, looks to guide it to the floor, crushes through the challenge. Couldn't find Psycho's car, however, and they might have a shot at this. And they're still going to be able to keep this one up. Multiple 50-50s going in the favor of BDS here. Archie does have control of the situation, though drops it over the top for the last man for BDS. Confirms the win for Endpoint. Oh, what a win it was. They started off with a great Any big mistakes first in this game either. Daunting proposition. BDS up the pressure. Monkey Moon gets, I think, a bit of a fortunate dunk, really, but you've got to also point out it is a mistake that leads to it, so it is rewarded. Relating Wave didn't clear that ball in a safe angle. Hits it right into Monkey Moon. That's just who has been predict. quicker than you. Oh, that's a good position. That's not goal <laughs> number two. Off the bump, no chance. Anyone's going to get back. Yeah, you can't really blame Relating Wave for going here. He had no boost. If he sits back in net, he will just be a sitting duck for Monkey Moon for end point. They're going to need to do something special. I like to watch BDS did earlier. Uh, it's not going to happen, though. They've gotten a bit too close to each other on that last play. Obviously trying to be as aggressive as they can with time running out, but they didn't communicate exactly whose ball that was quickly enough. BDS up by three. Enough for end point. Or realistically off the floor at all. Will Seiko make it number four? Just gonna walk the ball in, and that's 4 0. Endpoint have found the gauntlet thrown on the floor in front of them. BDS unfazed by losing game one, unfazed by losing the previous series. You know, 4 0 is, I think, a. It's a bit stepping a bit much. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. much here. This doesn't tell the full story of the game <laughs> at all. One you know, if you slight just... misposition against a team that has to be more aggressive. Is oh. everything they want. And Endpoint about to be put to the same test. A goal down, only four seconds in. Oh man, Monkey Moon's been in the gym. He just shrugged off a little bump on the way to End, the end point point. have made the correct follow-up play after losing a kickoff on this oh, one. Oh yeah. That one is not to write home about. They they made the right follow-up on the first one, but this is absolutely shambolic. Where are you going, Archie? The net's on your left and the ball's in your net. <laughs> I know the boost at the mid right leg stays good. You're getting point fat out there. Oh, it might it's get worse. It's worse. Oh, dear. It's embarrassing. Okay, well, How we they were, um... three times in 11 seconds. What earth are they doing on the kickoffs? Archie, where are you going? But the goal's behind you. He's made the same mistake yeah, again. Tell him, I don't know what's going on. Actually, no, you said earlier on, you asked what he's doing. I'm really hoping that was rhetorical. I ain't, I ain't got. Wait, oh, dear. Right, well, I'm <laughs> 4 0. 22 seconds in. This game might already be over. I mean, yeah, media should over. not be far throwing far. a 4 0. They're probably listening. <laughs> Give us the men. Give us the men point copium. How are they going to do this? Here you go. Here's something to help you out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. One, one goal <laughs> down. Happening? Three to go. And I want them to send me reasons as to why endpoint are going to make this comeback stick. And that was actually a really good pass by Metzenaris. To be fair, he was up early for during that the one. during and the timeout. Well, two minutes. Didn't saw something out in that time. Uh, you know, uh, there's some. Oh wait a minute. Multiple. <laughs> Okay. Metzenaris making plays, Jogan. This is actually a game all of a sudden. Metzenaris right. makes a late flip, double taps it into the middle almost. Stuck around. He didn't have just rotate out blindly. Stuck around waiting for the pass. Making the goal. You can build up all of the credit you want. You can win all of the regions wait, you want. They're, they're you can't be dropping a four goal lead. What and he's got the brace. And it's one goal between them. I actually don't understand what I'm seeing here. BDS are committing so hard on every play when there's no need. Goal. Archie, take notes. All right, first touch. NA in general. Oh. Stop looking at oh. it. Oh, <laughs> Four goals gone in a minute. I do not believe it. 
Monkey Man boost starved. Helpless. Extra unable to get back to I know, like you've just tuned in. <laughs> when you're in this place with the, for the tournament later on today. Oh, Monkey Man's not interested in no T just yet. Snipes the top shelf. Looks like there were a little bit of boost issues there for Metsonaris and Archie getting bullied in the net. So great play off the ball there from one minute left. Is that going to be a two goal lead? The shot's up high. Extra finds the target. And that's a two goal lead reestablished. A great turn by Extra. Notice how Monkey Moon passes the ball into the center off the corner wall instead of the backboard. Gets it into the middle more quickly. And since and then, the uh, game really calmed down in BDS for the team to put it together in the final third. With some more physical play um, combined with boost starving for the first goal and then a full team offensive drive went wrong the second goal in that play in that last game. Although that being said, you know, anyone wondering, did they? Oh, he's gone. No. Oh, Seiko nails this play onto Relaying Wave. Relaying Wave's been playing a lot of ones recently, but no amount of ones practice is going to stop that play that Seiko put onto him. Perfect. Air dribble bump we're from close range. Scored. Maybe we'll get another minute down, and there's there our go. second. All right, we're, we're six more away from being on target. <laughs> it's still an incredible goal per minute record here. <laughs> oh, a team pinch from Relaying Wave and Archie actually sets up Archie perfectly for the Side well touch, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have definitely uh, found their mode and they are desperate to try and give themselves the win and they there have done so. Extra off the infield pass. Nine four seconds to do it. Metza just left one loose thread and it was good enough. One mistake from endpoint is all it took. Relating with Metza both jumped. That means Relating Wave can't follow up on Metza's touch. Metza's touch wasn't a great one either. I think they've decided that endpoint are not going to overextend. There's no point trying to batter them. But oh, what a pass. Metza Norris snipes Relating Wave in the center. That was just perfectly hit. He didn't have boost to play with this one, but side flips to hit the ball directly towards Relating Wave, who sniped that bottom corner as well. Very important help his team out, get away from this position, but Metz is so mispositioned, he's got himself all twisted up. And that's 1-1. One, one. Metz and Aris off the goal line a bit. I think he was one eye on Seiko, who was threatening a demo as well. That was both, you can't cheat into different positions with both of your players and get the ball both ways. You've got to pick one. Oh, that's Ooh, very nice. Though. Relating Wave picks out his spot excellently. He's tight bottom left for the first goal, bottom right for the second one. The positioning of his power on that shot is so deceptive on the setup. On the right side, crosses over to the left of the ball, turn the ball, play the cat as quickly as he can. And a safe manner. Let's take a tight angle double. He's got it. Of course he does. Ridiculous. BDS tie the game once again. And it's a nightmare scenario for Endpoint. Their former player, Seiko, styling on him. What an angle with the double for that BDS. was. Monkey Man had to just leave the, uh, the attack oh, a chance. Oh, it's the goal as well. Relating Wave back to the bottom left. And out of nowhere, they have got a game win. Relating Wave 1-2 with Archie. Archie actually just leaving the ball here to go and try and pressure Extra, who got a worst possible touch. He thought it was going to be a 50-50, but Archie just drove right past him. They're still a long Pounds. way back in a matchup that overall they have looked pretty uncomfortable in today. And oh no, it's happened again, Shogun. This time it's not Archie in the back corner, but Metsonoris left in just as awkward a position as Seiko 1v1s him. Archie demoing the wrong guy there. That wasn't the threat. Seiko, the guy you want to be taking out. Relating Wave shot to a bottom corner. He's actually missed this one as well, actually. I don't think Relating Wave expected to get a clean shot on that one. Probably anticipating a 50, but Archie's managed to get one through not long after. Endpoint, yeah, another equalizer. Extra just misreads the bounce completely on that one. They have an interesting metagame starting to... It does make the shot more difficult. Overall, what we can say is that the combinations that Endpoint are throwing... Oh, look, it's again. Oh, that's gone in. Wait a second. Well, they didn't get the goals from conventional passing positions, but again, they're able to create something out of nothing in the back corner. It didn't look like much was happening here, but Relating Wave manages to... Oh, very well here is relying on the mechanics. A bit far too delayed, and that is not the space that you can give up to an extra who is always going to hit that shot. A relating wave covering 
the, a bit too much to the wall there. I think he may have lost his. What well, about everything you said there, Johnny? Is that this is all thoughts that you as a defender have to go for? Oh, oh my goodness! Ooh. All right, well, my ever-relating wave was scared of last time came very much true this time around. Yeah, that's why I'm mentioning. You know, you've got to worry about the the bump, Monkey Moon aerialing up above crossbar height for that one. It turns aggressively, and it's something that they're going to have to do. We've already seen Endpoint happy to go full aggression once they put themselves this sort of position. Oh, and oh, oh. Norris with the doink to put it to two one. He's in the zone. Perfect pass from Archie, and Metsonaria shows that you don't need to dodge. Okay. There was a miss from Monkey Moon. Oh. Shot. Saved by Seiko, tries to clear, and BDS versus Moist Esports will be your Super 16 Grand Finals. Oh, great push to the end there from Endpoint. That was a great, honestly, about as good of a try as they could have asked for. The shot needed to be better, though, and they were also a bit unlucky that Archie didn't fall on top of Seiko, denying the save. But BDS, overall this series, I think they were the better team. The, the, the play from Endpoint to come back was very impressive and it's a great sign for them that they can come back from these positions.